get into a meditation posture that's comfortable for you. Once comfortable, start to calm your mind by focusing on your breath. Without trying to control the breath, notice the feeling of air passing by your nostrils. The coolness of the air when you inhale. The warmth of the air when you exhale. You might notice the rise and fall of your body as you inhale or exhale. Noticing the rhythm of your breath today. Notice where your breath stops in your body today. Does it stop at your throat or in your chest? Or is it getting down into your belly? Try taking control of the breath. Attempt to move the breath as deep as you can into your belly. Inhale as fully as you can until you are full of air, inflating your belly like a balloon. With each inhale, let the air in your belly just fill until you can't take any more. And then release all of that air along with some of your fear and worry with each exhale. Release every drop of air that you can, slowly and steadily. Continue to take a few big, deep breaths in this way. Now let your breath return to its natural rhythm and shift your attention to your body. Can you feel the edges of your body where your body meets the air in the room? Where it meets the chair that you sit in? Notice any feeling within your body today. Perhaps silently ask yourself, where is your center of feel? Where are you carrying the weight of the day today? Once you feel connected to the feelings in your body, See if there's a feeling that stands out to you. Try and focus your attention on just one feeling in your body. And place your hand on that spot on your body. Your hand can help you stay focused on the physical sensation within this location. Now let's start to explore the physical sensation of that feeling. How might you describe that feeling if you were trying to draw a picture of it? Or as if you were a poet trying to describe what it's like? What shape is it? 
What size is it? What color might it be? Does it have a texture associated with it? For example, is it prickly or smooth? Or is it hard and firm or soft and supple? Does it have any movement within it? For example, does it swirl? Is there static associated with it? Do the edges morph or does it remain the same? Does it have a temperature associated with it? Can even notice any attractions or aversions you have to it. Are there any other descriptions you would give this actual physical sensation? Once you feel familiar with the sensation, the feeling itself, let's go into the feeling a bit further. Imagine yourself being able to listen to this feeling, to whatever it might have to say to you. Imagine yourself ready to listen to this feeling, as if it was a close friend who really needed someone to talk to needed a shoulder to lean on. Imagine yourself focusing your full attention on this feeling, on this friend, choosing to trust whatever comes up, choosing to let go of other thoughts or distractions to the best of your ability while you listen. Allow yourself to believe whatever it has to tell you. Allow yourself to be drawn into the story. And remember whatever it is that comes up. To imagine what it really, truly felt like. Now, Silently to yourself, ask the feeling in your body the following question. When was the last time I felt this feeling? Trust whatever response comes up. This feeling may have come up five minutes ago or five hours ago five days ago, or even five years ago, but just trust and listen and try to picture when was the last time you felt this feeling. Now, 
Ask this feeling, this space in your body, if there's anything you should know about this feeling. If there's anything it wants to tell you or teach you from this feeling. Again, just trust whatever comes up. Now come back to the sensation of the actual physical feeling as best as you can. It's time to ask a new question. To ask this feeling of space in your body the following question. When was the first time I felt this feeling? And allow yourself to trust whatever comes up. You might not even have words to describe the memory. It might come as a mixture of feelings or images or sensations. It is likely a feeling from childhood, as that's when we first experience most, if not all, of our feelings. You may have been too young to even fully perceive what was going on, but just allow yourself to be with the memory however it comes up to sit with it, and to be in and trust whatever comes up. Now ask this feeling, the space in your body, if there's anything you should know about this feeling in this moment. If there are any lessons it tried to teach you. Again, trust whatever comes up. Just notice whatever you took away from that moment, from that feeling. Now, ask the feeling the following question. 
Is there anything I need to heal from this memory? Again, trust whatever response comes up from within you. If you feel that you do not need to heal anything, that this feels like a very positive memory, positive feeling, just try to stay with the feeling, with that child version of yourself, for as long as you can. If you do feel that there is something to heal, that is absolutely normal and natural. It is quite common, in fact. Simply ask this memory, this feeling, what you need to do to heal it. Silently to yourself, ask and trust whatever comes up. Whatever came up, picture yourself doing that thing. Perhaps it involves comforting your childhood self in some way. Imagine yourself doing that. Perhaps it involves thinking of an alternate ending to this memory. Imagine that alternate ending. Perhaps it involves choosing to perform a different, alternate action by someone else in the memory. Imagine that person choosing this different, alternate action. Whatever you feel you need, imagine the memory that way. Do what you feel you need to soothe and comfort your childhood self. If you feel you need more time, feel free to pause this meditation and continue. Otherwise, ask this feeling if there's anything more you need to learn from this feeling or memory. Anything else you should know. If so, Sit with the response or go through the same process. If you need more time, feel free to pause the video and continue. Otherwise, if you feel complete, conclude by silently asking yourself the question, What do I now know? What did I learn from this experience? You can continue to think about the answer to this question as you hear the chime of the meditation bells. At the end of the third bell, you can open your eyes and come back to the room.